spent the day working with a small prawn that was fished out of the Menai Strait by um, a guy I work with quite often, Andy. Um, he gave me that uh, just before Christmas. Um, and so I've got lots of these little finished prints now. I've got quite a few good ones from it yesterday. Um, I've left them to dry overnight to make sure that they're really solid. Um, and the next stage of the process is to wet mount them all now um, and fingers crossed uh, they all turn out okay. So I've gathered all my prints up now um, and now I need to just prepare these surfaces. These are what I use. So I've got one, two and then this one three. So this is a piece of acrylic glazing, it's five mils thick um, and that works really well. And then I've got these two thinner pieces, which are actually um, cast off, uh, cut off pieces of hygiene boards that weren't being used um, in a kitchen refurb for um, my husband's restaurant. So I nab these. These are great. They're a little bit flexible, um, which can cause problems with large pieces of work because as it dries, it creates a tension. And um, sometimes these can pull up and the wet mounted piece then releases from the board. Seems to be fine with small pieces um, and works okay as long as I put plenty of glue around the edges, um, but a little bit more temperamental than the sheet of acrylic that I use because it's, it's good and thick, so that works better for, for larger pieces. So the first thing I'm gonna do now is clean down these boards so they're nice and clear. Um, so I'm going to put the prints on there. They're not picking up any bits of dirt or old glue or anything like that. Which, which, which if you've got old glue underneath the print, it'll leave like shiny spots on the on the surface of the print. So that's my next job. The next stage now is to. Um, prepare the backing paper for the wet mounting. Um, I use uh, another Japanese paper. This is a roll of Massa paper. I think different people use different backings, but I find this works quite well for me. This is a 70 gram paper, so it's heavier than the print, which seems to work better for me. Um, like most Gyotaku, Gyotaku artists kind of work it out as you go along yourself, you find what works for you, you find what's available in your area, um, what's accessible in terms of materials and things, um, you know, um, and I found this last year and it's working out really well for me. Um, so I'll take the print and place it on the mass paper and what I want to do is leave a, a good border of a few centimetres, a few inches couple of inches uh, around each of the prints so that my backing paper is bigger um, than my actual print and this excess will be glued down to the board and hold the print in place as it dries to the to the backing paper so that it's it, it dries nice and flat doesn't ping off the the board in the drying process. Okay, so I'm, I'm now ready to start the wet mounting process. I've got my prints, my paper, um, just introduced another couple of things that I use. Um, so these are the brushes I'm going to be using today. This one is for plain glue. Um, it's made with um, strips of bamboo and I believe it's uh, goat hair. It's lovely and soft. And this is uh, made with palm fibre, this brush. Um, you do see them being used for like sweeping as well. Um, but that works really well for applying the second sheet of paper as you'll see. And then um, this is a tub of glue, um, which I'm gonna be using. Um, the glue I've made myself from flour, uh, plain flour and hot water, um, and uh, a little bit of alum powder from the alum bean. Um, so it's a pretty sort of, it's nice, I think because it's using all sort of natural ingredients, um, it's not using any 
kind of chemical glues or anything like that. Um, apparently you can use wallpaper paste, that works very well for this process too. Um, but I've never personally done that, I've always made my own glue. Um, my recipe sort of developed as I've gone, um, worked out how to do it a bit better. Um, I think so much of this is trial and error. Um, you, you, when you're using the glues, you, you know, um, it's very hot weather, it'll perform slightly differently from cold, damp weather, which is what we seem to be having a prolonged period of here in North Wales at the moment. Um, so, yeah, so these are the things that I'll be using now to, to wet mount this print, which I'll do a demonstration of for you now. Okay, so we're ready to start wet mounting this print now. First job is to turn it so that the actual print is, is lying against the, the board. Um, and this is just a spray bottle with some tap water in it. And just gently spray the print on the back um, to relax the paper. And that helps when we're applying the glue. So I take some glue, and you can be quite liberal with this, on the brush, starting in the center, gently working your way out. Um, you will get creases, but don't panic. They can be moved out with the, the brush. And you can see those little air bubbles as well. And just by gently working at it, you can take all those air pockets and creases out of the paper. Like so. Um, I found over time that it's actually best to kind of work out from the centre. That's the best way of having success of getting everything nice and flat. Managed to get the hair in there <laughs> somehow. I've also got, you won't be able to see it, but there is a tiny crease there. So I'm just going to apply some pressure to that. And hopefully now that will be taken out. Slightly disturbed by this hair that's managed to work its way underneath my print. This is not an easy job. There, yeah, you little brother. There we go, got you. Right, I'm going to make sure there's plenty of glue around the edge of the print. Um, this is important because it will hold the backing paper in place as the print dries. Because as the print dries, it gets like tension on the edge. And if there's not enough glue to hold down the backing paper, it starts to peel up. This is my backing paper. I'm going to lay that over the surface of the print now. And again, starting in the centre with this small print. I'm going to use my palm brush now and brush that out. Um, I think some people now would lay a piece of blotting paper over the surface to take some of the damp out of it, which would help it dry a bit faster, I suppose, but I'm not in any rush for it to dry. I don't need it urgently, so I'm going to just leave that now attached to the to the board until tomorrow morning um, when I'll come back in the studio and remove it. Um, and now my next job is just to crack on and mount the rest of the prints. Yesterday I wet mounted these prints um, and I left them to dry for um, 24 hours so now they're ready to lift um, off the boards um, so we'll do that now and see how they look. Okay, here goes. There we go, there's the first one. And we can see now that this is completely Completely flat piece of paper, perfect for framing. Um, 
so that one's worked out really really well um, when this gets sent to the framer it just gets cut down so all this backing paper gets removed from it um, and obviously I'm gonna stamp these with my panko and sign them um, and then they're ready to go on my website